I'm Adrienne from Bed Bugs Dead Bugs, and I'm here to show you our most popular model of bed bug heater. This unit is great for use in houses because you only need to locate four separate circuits. You won't need to access your stove outlet in most cases. You'll see there's the eight heating coils, there's the control panel here, and the electrical plug-ins here. I'm going to zoom in so that we can go over this in a little bit more detail. So what you're looking at here are the four connection outlets to plug in to the wall. Each cord needs to go into its own circuit. That usually means the bedroom, the bathroom, the kitchen counter, and the living room. Those are usually on four separate circuits. You'll also need to plug in the black wire that runs the control panel up here. You're going to leave the equipment running for six to eight hours, depending on how big your room is, how much stuff is in there, how long you've had the problem. The minimum temperature is 45 degrees. In a house, you should get between 55 and 60 degrees. The equipment will automatically shut off at 60 degrees and cool down and then restart itself. 60 degrees sounds hot, but it's not really. It's not even hot enough to melt a plastic bag, but it will melt deodorant, candles, and makeup. So make sure you remove those items from the room before you start. Once you've left your heater running for a minimum of six to eight hours, you can simply turn it all off and move it to the next room and continue heating. This heater is designed to do two rooms in 24 hours. I look forward to helping you solve your bed bug problem.